Hello YouTube and VAC fans and uh, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be doing my first daily clean uh, or just vacuuming session with the Dyson V6 Absolute which I've had for a few days now. Um, now I didn't vacuum the house yesterday or the day before and uh, we're just going to be doing the as much as we can before the battery goes on it. I'm hoping to get this room, that room, the uh, bathroom and kitchen done, the worktops, the sofa with the little mini turbo brush there because the cat's been all over it and it's covered in cat hair. Uh, I want to go and do the upstairs bedroom and uh, I want to do a bit of dusting on the desk there and a bit on the mantelpiece and um, what we discovered is that um, this machine, the V6 Absolute, will run for 15 minutes of uh, constant um, normal power, not the maximum, but normal power with this brush roll head, which is a 50 watt brush head. Now, I went in Curry's tonight to have a look at the, uh, the V7 and V8 again, because I wanted to have a look at the uh, brush roll heads on them to see what the power was. And it seems that on the V7 model, it's only a 35 watt power head or a power brush on there. So it's actually, the, the V7 has got a less powerful brush roll than this has. This may be why this only runs for 15 minutes with that on instead of the 20. That you, you Effectively with this powerful uh, brush roll head, you lose uh, a quarter of your time. But, nevertheless, I'm going to try and do it today, is to get round everything in this house that I need to get round in before that runs out. Okay, so we'll start in this room and then I shall go into that one and then we'll go upstairs into the bedroom come back down and then I can uh, do the rest of it OK to stop every so often just to adjust the camera as you well know when I do these um, just vacuuming sessions without it falling over there we go
Okay, I got into the bedroom now. We can see from that it's already picked a fair bit of uh, dust there and uh, pet hair up off this carpet. And uh, we can see down there as well that it's left some really good grooming lines in the carpet as well. It's an excellent brush roll on this machine, it really is. So we'll go up and do the bedroom. Apologise about the, uh, the lighting, it's a little bit dark up here, we'll just stick the lights on. Okay, so for this one I shall just have to hold the camera while I go around here. Get it to focus. Shall I be able to get down this side of the bed? It's a little bit tricky down here. There we go, that's that. Just grab hold of the machine, I'll go back down again. It's very easy to carry up and down the stairs, we'll say that much. Very light, very convenient. Right, so we've done the carpets in this room, and now uh, I just want to go into these carpet mats in the kitchen, and then I'll put the hard floor head on it to go into the, uh, the bathroom. Again, I'll have to hold the camera while we do this, because there's no real place to put it down to film the film. Okay, so what I need to do now is just put this down while I change the floor head over. And we'll put the hard floor head on. Which is effectively this uh, very small head down here, but it's actually pretty good for doing new floors.
So there we go. That is a fantastic little uh, nifty. I know it's very small, but it's really ideal for this little room. Absolutely ideal little head that is. I know it's not the fluffy head, but I haven't really got enough hard floor to justify having a fluffy head on this machine. So we'll change. Uh, I've got to do um, to get some uh, crumbs and things off of uh, the work tops as well in here. Because uh, they're obviously a little bit uh, dirty because I haven't cleaned these in a couple of days. I deliberately left it for doing this demonstration with. So I'll take this back in here and uh, I'm going to be doing the upholstery because the cat has been all over the chairs and uh, now there's a fair bit of cat hair on there so I'm going to be putting that on it to do the chairs. So we take the long rod off now and put it into handheld mode with effectively that on the end. Just put it onto boost for a little tiny bit here, onto max. And that has cleared all the cat hairs off the chair. A bit more here. See what's happened to it is that uh, some of them have got caught on the uh, lint strip. So I need to just uh, clear that lint strip off. Okay, just do that now. That is a little bit of a problem when you've got pet hairs everywhere, they do tend to get uh, stuck on the, the lint pickers. And as soon as you turn it back on again, you've got the suction coming through. Okay, I think that's just, it's, it causes a little bit of static on the plastic. Right, so that's that one. I will just uh, do this one as well. Get this out of the way. She doesn't go on this chair, you see. There's a certain chair that my cat will go on. She'll sleep on here for a week or a couple of weeks or so, and then she'll decide to go and sleep on that one for a couple of weeks, and then she'll go in a basket again then. She's very uh, sort of uh, selective over where she sleeps. There we go, I think that's okay, isn't it? And of course, um, I try and keep her off this chair because I like to sit on this side myself, so I have to put that on there to stop her getting on here and getting cat hairs all over it, otherwise they go all over me. So, I'm quite pleased with that. So what we're going to do now is we'll just quickly do the uh, stairs. How long have we got? Might not have much battery power left on it now, we'll have to just see how, how, how much it goes.
downstairs done. They weren't too bad anyway because I did them the other day with it. So we'll take off the um, pet tool. Now I think it's the atmosphere in the room as well. It's very dry in here at the moment and uh, what it seems to have done is caused a little bit of static on the uh, plastic here on the machine and some of the, well it's cleared off the bottom now anyway because I know it was uh, the pet hair was stuck to there a little bit I suppose whatever cleaner you were using that's going to happen because the cat is, uh, she does tend to leave a lot of hairs around the place so what I'm going to do now is stick this on it, the dusting brush and uh, just do over this uh, computer table turn the keyboard off chair. So of course the good thing about having the trigger on, I know some people complain about it, is that when you put the machine down and you're moving around to do things you're not wasting battery life, you're only actually using it as you're cleaning. So as soon as you stop cleaning you take your finger off the trigger and it prolongs the battery life. We haven't got the low, light, we haven't got the low battery light flashing yet. want to go underneath here. I need to get all these hairs up, off, all this uh, stuff up off the cat scratching post as well so I need to move the dusting brush so it's into that form. brush back down again it's because I've only got one hand it, it's a bit inconvenient having this camera in the other hand but there we go I've got to do it so back to light flashing yet. to do in here. I'll just uh, dust round uh, on the bottom. Of the oh, 
pardon me there, I'm nearly knocked back flying. It's very, very tricky when you've got one hand with the camera, so just have to excuse me on this. Nearly knocked that flying again. That was my grandmother's old vase, that was. Yeah, she left that when she died to me. For much I was eternally grateful. Right, now just a little bit in the kitchen that needs doing on this worktop. For that, I should just put the scoop back on it again. Right, there we go, and that is the, um, that's the housework done for today, I think. And uh, on that last little bit there, the battery has just gone. So the video now, we've been going for 27 minutes. So um, this has well and truly lasted its uh, specified time. It has picked up um, the usual amount for um, a session uh, when I do the house here. And uh, I'm, not, no, I'm just going to now, I don't know how I'm going to be able to empty this and film it on the camera at the same time. Um, let's just um, do that, we'll pull the bin out. Like so, can that camera see it? It can. Right, so let's put the bin into the dustbin. And the usual V6 problem here is that you have to get your fingers in to get it all out. Because unfortunately the V6 did suffer from that problem, but uh, it doesn't really bother me too much. I'd rather save £300 on buying a V8 Absolute with that feature to have this one. And there's the bin emptied. I'll just check the filter. Um, what happens is the dirt will go into the filter along this here, that opening. Comes to the inside of the filter and then comes out of the outside. So the outside should always look clean. The area you're looking for is actually inside here where my finger's pointing and that's pretty clean. So there we go. All I'm going to do now is stick it back on the charger. And uh, here's the dock. Let's put it back in. And there we go. That is the uh, session done. That's as much as I needed to get done. Now, had I have uh, run all the battery out on the carpets by doing a more thorough clean, then if I needed to do the dusting, I've always got this one. So it's like the best of both worlds, really. And uh, But there we go. That's proved that it can do it all on one charge. Now some of it's left st stuck around the shroud there so what I really could have done with doing was to take the bin off altogether and just to uh, pull that off the shroud. But it shows what the machine actually picks up. It's picking up the really fine dust out the carpet and there it is. Very impressed. Very very pleased with this so far. I'd give it a 9 out of 10. I don't think it, nothing really gets 10 out of 10. Well very few. 10 out of 10 if the battery life would have been longer, but there we go. That's it for today. See you again later.